What's up everybody, Shadow Ninja here, and welcome back to Rage Quit. Today, we are back with another Mortal Kombat 11 video. That is because the devs came out with their first combat cast, showcasing some of the characters and their moves and stuff like that, and also revealing one new character that will be coming to Mortal Kombat 11, and as you guys already could tell, it is Cabal. Cabal is coming back because at the original reveal trailer, we saw something flash across the screen that I said before was very reminiscent to one of Cabal's old moves, and even if you close up just a little bit and freeze the frame, you can actually see Cabal zooming across the screen, and they showed some gameplay, some footage that you're seeing right now on the screen, and he is really, really cool. Uh, apparently, when they were streaming, the audio was all messed up, but it still didn't take away from the whole aesthetic that Cabal presents. He has a completely new look, and he looks awesome. And they showcase some of his moves, his fatal blow, and some of his little uh, finishing blows that he does. And they are really, really cool. Some of his X moves and stuff like that also, and they showed one fatality, which is very reminiscent to The Flash in Injustice, believe it or not. But anyways, they also came out and said that Kano is going to be in the game. That is because they revealed him uh, a little bit earlier than Cabal with just a little picture. Uh, and he was like in a Brazil outfit or something like that. He had a pirate outfit or whatever for uh, the Brazil event. And we got uh, confirmation that in the next combat cast, which is like a week from now, they're going to be revealing one more character, and that character is going to be female. But I am happy that we are finally going to get Cabal back after not being able to play as him in MKX, even though we saw him in MKX as a Revenant. Now we'll be able to play as him, and uh, I think one of the developers said that the first time... I think it's the first time in any game, really, that we've played, we can play as just unburnt Cabal, just as his regular uh, form. They said they were messing around time travel and stuff like that, so they're able to do that, alternate timelines. Uh, so yeah, we got Cabal confirmed, we got Kano confirmed, there is going to be a new uh, female fighter that's going to be released or revealed to the public in combat uh, cast the next week. And Ed Boon also came out and said that there's going to be some really, really cool characters coming back to the game in the main roster and DLC roster. Some characters that are going to blow the fans' minds, you know, some characters that haven't seen the light since a couple games or very, very popular ones. And I am very, very uh, uh, happy about that. But let's also talk on a topic that uh, I know a lot of you probably clicked onto this video for because it's in the thumbnail, and it's Shaggy. Shaggy from Scooby-Doo was rumored to be taking place in Mortal Kombat for whatever reason. It was just this dumb joke, this dumb meme that was going around. Apparently, a lot of people signed a petition to start the uh, Shaggy campaign in Mortal Kombat, bringing him from Scooby-Doo over to Mortal Kombat for apparently the reason that he is supposed to be, like, super powerful now in terms of memeality or whatever like that. But I am finally happy that they have come out and they said, No, Shaggy from Scooby-Doo is not going to be in Mortal Kombat 11 simply because it is a ridiculous idea and why the hell was it even suggested in the first place. But guys, that's all I have for you for this video. Uh, new combat cast is going to come out next week revealing a female fighter. We have com confirmation of Cabal being in the game, Kano being in the game, and no, Shaggy from Scooby-Doo will not be in the game. But anyways, guys, I'm Shadow Ninja. You have just watched a Rage Quit episode. Press the sub tab on the bottom if you want to see more content such as this, and I will see you on the next one.